Next news is out of Birmingham, England. Meet the Muslims feeding the homeless during Ramadan while fasting themselves. Volunteers from the charity As-Sufa fast for up to 19 hours a day during the holy month. But when they're finished with their day jobs, they head to Lionel Street in central Birmingham to serve hot meals to the homeless, as well as providing companionship and practical help. Asufa, which has also, which also has centers in Wal Walsall, Coventry, um, has provided a quarter of a million hot meals to the homeless since 2012. Okay, this is nice, but why is this news? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't. I, it, like, it's do I, news because they're hungry. And no, they they're not. Serving. No, they're not. First of all, anybody that thinks Muslims go hungry during Ramadan hasn't Muslimed ever. Okay, I Muslimed many for a lot of my life. I, I did it two years ago. I did it two years ago, so I would know what it was like. Okay, so first of all, feeding the homeless, great job. Okay, but why is this news? When when atheists feed the homeless, nobody covers that in the news, right? Yeah, no one, no one covers my charity work in the news. Yeah, either. why is your charity <laughs> work not covered? Like, I'm not saying, I'm not you know shitting on their charity work. Good job that you're no. trying charity work but this is again religious privilege where, where, where was this england of course why is it that mo when muslims do charity it becomes head it becomes news where what uh, where is this i don't understand um i mean people feed the homeless all the time which is good should be encouraged but we want so we should get coverage as well every every now you have to cover everybody that is feeding the homeless like, I don't understand why this is the news. Again, I'm not against feeding the homeless. Good job that you're feeding the homeless. But why is this the news? And also, why is it that it says, the, the title says, Meet the Muslims Feeding Homeless During Ramadan While Fasting? It's the fact that they're fasting is not significant. Who gives a shit that they're fasting? For, they're, okay, so when you fast during Ramadan, you eat shitload of food before the sun, uh, before the sunrise, right? And then Before, well, they stop at 3.30 a.m. Right. So you eat shitload of food and then you quote unquote fast. And then on the sunset, again, you eat shitload of food. In fact, most, I don't know, most, a lot of Muslims get fat during Ramadan. There's a lot of articles for Muslims online on how to not get fat during Ramadan. Um, and it's a very unhealthy way of actually eating as well. To eat just two giant meals during the day, right? It's very unhealthy, and they don't go hungry. They eat more than usual. Um, so the the first part is nice, feeding the homeless during Ramadan. Okay, I mean no, not during Ramadan, just feeding the homeless. But the during the Ramadan part is like, who gives a shit that it's during Ramadan? Well, and while it's, fasting it's, uh, themselves, who gives a shit that they're fasting? Popular themselves? things do intermittent fasting, anyways, where people typically eat from the morning to like right before the evening and then they fast the rest of the evening and tonight. So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing only in reverse, only you eat and then you sleep and it's not good for you. Also, I would be more impressed if they were feeding the homeless not during the Ramadan because right. what you learn in Islam is that your, your, um, your good deeds count more during Ramadan. So like, for example, if you read one verse of the Quran during Ramadan, it's kind of like reading the entire fucking Quran during uh, non-Ramadan days, right? So when people, the, the thing is that I keep advocating that when Muslims do good, they do good not because of, it's not because of Islam, it's because they're good people. Because if you do good because of Islam, then you're not really doing good. You're trying to score points with Allah, right? Right. That's not really the definition of being good. Like you're doing it for, 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 for going to heaven, right? So I think like when Muslims are good people, it's not, it's just because of their humanity, not because of Islam, which counts more, I think, in my opinion. Uh, but when, if you are doing more good deeds during Ramadan, it goes against my argument because it seems like you're, you're, you're doing it for good points with Allah. You're, you're not being moral. You're just fo following commands. Again, I, I don't want to discourage this. This is good. I mean, yeah, I understand some people might think that the feeding the homeless might not be the most effective way of charity. Um, but it still comes from a good place. And and if I was homeless and I was hungry, I would appreciate it. Like if somebody wanted to feed me, if I was homeless and somebody came like, ah, oh, this is not effective. I was like, fuck you, I'm hungry, give me the food. Right, so right. so I, just, I mean, um, 
And but again, I understand that some people think. I mean, I don't know what the most efficient way of charity is, so I'm not going to judge it. Uh, be just saying, I'd be more interested in what practic in what the practical help is they are giving. Or I think be just pointing to what I said. Anthes is saying, my non-Muslims buddy was fasting last night. It was odd when he stuffed his face. Oh wait, my stuff his face the second the sun went down. Oh. Oh yeah, because a lot of Muslims, by the way, when he says non-religious, he doesn't mean non-Muslim. Because a lot of Muslims that are not very religious all of a sudden remember that they're Muslim during Ramadan. And become very observant and then they forget again at the end of Ramadan. Uh, Br Brent is saying, maybe someone should explain to Muslims that you can actually feed the homeless the rest of the year too. And you can't eat yourself. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, I'm not suggesting that they're not doing this during non yeah, but the activity, first of all, again, this doesn't show that Muslims are better or worse than average people. I'm sure there are a lot of great Muslim people that do a lot of charity and they don't even want to take credit for it or sometimes they do. It's fine to take credit for it. Some people, there are many Muslims that find charity more effective way maybe as well of charity. There are evil Muslims out there as well. This is, you know, we're not making any general comments, right? I, I'm, my judgment is not on these people. I'm, I'm sure they're kind. Most of them are very kind people. My judgment is, why is this fucking news? Why is this the news? Or why is, you know, I'm, if this is the news, then every other person feeding the homeless should now become news as well. What the religious people shouldn't get a, uh, you know, advantage to this. Um, Subham is saying that actually makes Islamic apologists say that this is true Islam and, um, this is true as well, and that's why people should follow Allah, just because these stuff make the news, they become annoying as fuck. Yeah, again, uh, Islam is a barbaric, backward, shitty ideology, and um, again, um, you shouldn't let stories like this um, suggest otherwise, but I don't want to attack the people that are doing this, because these are, even if Islam is a backward, shitty idea, these people are probably good, kind people, and I don't want to attack them individually. And even if they are providing cover for a shitty backward ideology, most of them are doing it unknowingly and they shouldn't be hated for it or like, you know. Anyways, Wolf is saying, just because you do a good thing doesn't mean your religion has anything to do with having simple good morals. Um, okay, so Islam has a lot of shitty um, teachings, but to be fair, it does t it does have teachings to saying take care of the poor and take care of the orphans, right? But again, taking care of the poor and uh, taking care of orphans and all that stuff was not invented by Islam. Uh, it was there way before Islam and Christianity and Judaism, and it was discussed in much more efficient, effective, and advanced way. If you look at the the way ethics and morality was this, was discussed by the ancient Greeks and Romans, it was way at, more advanced than anything that you could find in the Bible and the Quran. And even if you could find a few uh, feel good, you know, simplistic good messages in the Bible or the Quran, it it uh, it doesn't excuse all the barbaric shit that is there. And in fact, these good these kind of simplistic moral messages that are in the Quran. Uh, are used as cover for all that you know bullshit that is there and makes the religion a lot more dangerous because people keep pointing that uh, you put that as the front but then it comes with all that baggage the thing is that people still do good with that religion so you know, I, i'm hoping these are these people these muslims are good enough human beings that if they all if they were not muslims they will continue doing the stuff that they're doing because i have more I believe in these people more than many Muslims because when Muslims say like, "Oh, look, they're doing good because of Islam," but I have, I, I, I will put more. I give these people more credit, and I say that I'm hoping these people will do the same without Islam as well, right? And by doing that, I'm giving the credit to the individual rather than the ideology. But if you take Islam away, and all of a sudden these people would not do these things, then this is not an act of morality. This is just scoring points with Allah. Um, where is the rest? Where is the rest? Um, Ansar is saying fasting is pretty bad in tropical countries. The hunger sets in as easily as 11 a.m. at 
um, the heat takes toll on your body. Yeah, especially because you can't drink water. That's one of the most unhealthy parts of it as well. Not the not drinking water. Like I mean, everything we know about how the best way of keeping healthy goes against fasting around methan. And the, these, and and still, you see articles and videos like, oh, the benefits of fasting during Ramadan for your health. Bullshit. Bullshit. We know now that eating small, por lots of small portions throughout the day is better. Drinking lots of water throughout the day is better for your health. This is this is not good for your health. This is not good for your health. Um, let me see what the top comments is saying alan is saying fuck sakes people these are humans helping other humans it would break my heart if if my volunteering efforts were dismissed due to affiliation get a fucking grip yeah i mean we're doing both we're both alan is right like we shouldn't dismiss it because they're muslims but we shouldn't also credit islam because of their good deeds we should credit the people okay i'm hoping these people are good because they're good people not because of islam uh, Colin is saying, because poverty only exists during Ramadan. Nah, not, I don't. No, I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's better than people that are not doing anything ever, right? Raymond is saying, nothing encourages good deeds like 72 versions. Heaven, right? No, come, no. This has, okay, this 72 version, you should stop using that against. Islam already has enough bullshit in it, um, for us to attack. I mean, yeah, 72 versions is ridiculous, but no, it doesn't motivate anybody, right? I haven't seen, I mean, I was a Muslim. I know many Muslims. This is not on their priority list for doing anything. First of all, feeding the hungry doesn't get you the 72 version. You have to actually be a martyr or something, right? But that is not a motivation for anybody. That has... You know, I mean, you probably could find a rare example, but that hasn't been. Again, I'm not excusing Islam. Islam has caused motivation for a lot of barbaric stuff, but it's, the 72 version one has not been a major force in this. Robert is saying good deeds only for their own souls in paradise. Well, we don't know, okay? I'm hoping that it's not because of that. I'm hoping that a lot of these people are just looking for an opportunity to do good, and they would have done without Islam as well. Andrew is saying, I think atheists should carry out things like this to, to demonstrate that lack of religious belief does not uh, constitute lack of compassion or humanity. Yeah, I think so. And we, we demand that it needs to be headline news as well, right? Or, or any news, okay? So we're going to, uh, when atheists do charity, it should, if, if, uh, if Muslims do charity and it gets turns into the news, then atheists, when next time atheists uh, do anything good, if it doesn't become news, we have to call bullshit. Because, like, where's the double standard in this? Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.